So it's Friday afternoon. I'm thinking about heading to New Mexico. Um, I found a really good deal on Facebook Marketplace for some Nintendo GameCube stuff. And I love GameCube, so let's go and try and see what we can get. It's gonna take me about five hours to get down there and about five hours back, so it's gonna be a long drive. I'll show you guys once I get there what I'm picking up and we'll sort of talk about it and what I think some of the stuff is worth. And then I'll uh, come back. We'll sort of set everything out make sure I separate everything out, what I want, what I don't want, and uh, put it up on either eBay or Marketplace and we'll sort of end up seeing what some of the stuff goes for. So it's the next day. I got back um, at about 11 o'clock last night. So first thing I did was start going through everything, pricing everything out. Um, what I ended up getting was 22 GameCube games a GameCube and four wave birds and a memory card. Um, so the memory card I'm keeping for myself, two of the wave birds I'm keeping for myself. There's a few games I ended up saving for myself um, that I'm going to sell separately. Um, I've got some of the games in a lot. So I'm actually headed to the flea market right now where there's a retro video game store that I deal with um, a lot on some stuff. So I ended up putting one of the games up for sale on eBay last, I actually put two games up for sale on eBay last night and put um, two controllers up for sale and the GameCube. I've already sold one of the games and it ended up being a game that I didn't think was worth very much. But when I went through on price charting, it was worth about $113 loose, and that's what all these games were. They were all loose. Disney Sports Basketball. I sold it in less than 12 hours on eBay, $136. That was the first person. I ended up having another person after that try and get it for $141. I ended up just putting it up for buy it now at the $136, and so the first person got it. Um, but I'm glad because that was half of what I ended up paying for everything. Um, so I don't have to get a whole lot more for everything else to try and break even or make any money. Um, but I'm gonna take, I've got a few things here. Um, I've got a Wii down here on the floorboard with new Super Mario Brothers, um, two controllers and a nunchuck. And then in this big box right here, I've got, um, a few different things. I've got a PSP, a uh, PCH 1000 and one, um, some games, some movies for the PSP. I have two Super Nintendo games, one with a complete box. Um, the one that's boxed is Top Gear, so I'm not expecting a whole lot out of it, but the box is very nice. Um, and then I also have a broken PS1. I'm gonna see if they'll give me a few bucks for. Um, I don't feel like trying to fix it. I already have a PS1, um, the little one. The, so I don't need the original PlayStation. Uh, and I have two controllers for the PS1, it's all matching. So I'm just gonna see sort of what I can get. I'm hoping I can get 250 um, out of everything. That's uh, just sort of where I'm hoping I can be at so I can try and be even on everything um, or actually make a couple bucks on that. Uh, but so I'm gonna head to the flea market and we'll sort of see what happens. So again, here we are a couple days after, the couple days after. Um, I took all that stuff, the Wii, the SNES games, the original PlayStation and the PSP stuff to the flea market. I wanted 250 and I knew that was just, that was high retail for everything. Let's just put it that way. So, after talking to my buddies that own that place, I saw on their face, they were like, well, as I started telling them, and I try and be fair with those guys. They help me, I help them a little bit, you know. If, if, I, if I find something, they want it, you know, make sure they get it, you know, some stuff like that. Trying to build relationships. So, they were like, well, what do you want for everything? And I was like, I have a price in mind take 200 bucks they offered me 150 I was like you know what I'll take that 
that gives me another 150 bucks to keep moving forward and everything. I don't have to deal with that stuff. The Wii didn't really want to sell. The PlayStation uh, portable stuff just doesn't move real great. And uh, the SNES stuff wasn't real popular. And then the, the broken PlayStation, I could have fixed it, waited around, you know, spent more money on it. I just, I didn't want to screw with everything. So 150 bucks, done, square, we're called a wash. I also took in 16 loose GameCube games out of the 22 games in the GameCube lot that I went down to Albuquerque to get. So 16 games, there weren't anything special. I mean, they were all five bucks a piece. I, I didn't want to deal with them. They gave me 20 bucks for them, basically. So, out of the few things I had left, I ended up having, let's see, one, two, three, four, I had like five games left for 22. And so, one of them was Disney Sports Basketball. Put it on eBay, less than 12 hours, sold for 136 bucks. Awesome. Another one of the games I ended up getting was Mario Kart Double Dash. I was looking and seeing what sort of they were all going for on eBay. I just wanted to sort of turn around and get it sold for quick. Again, less than 12 hours. It was actually two hours because I ended up having a buyer. The buyer said they bought it on accident, refunded their money. Put it back up. Two hours later, I ended up having a sale again for that for 48 bucks. Two of the other games I ended up keeping, like I was saying, I was gonna keep some stuff for myself. I was gonna keep Super Monkey Ball and Super Monkey Ball 2 for myself. I never played them. I heard they were great games, so I figured they wouldn't be bad for the collection. But I really only want stuff with cases. So again, everything was loose. So with the GameCube I got, I ended up bundling Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2 and got 120 bucks out of all that. So I ended up getting, we're at 140 at 136 for the Disney Sports Basketball, at another 48 for the Mario Kart Double Dash. And all I have left out of all that is Star Fox Adventure and Spider-Man 2. Star Fox, you know, might sell for 20 bucks. I'm expecting like eight to 12 bucks for maybe Spider-Man 2 if it sells. I have Disney Sports Soccer and I have an offer on it currently. I did a counter offer, we'll sort of see what happens. I got an offer for $19, reply offer of 25, we'll sort of see what happens. Um, so I'm I'm up, I'm, ba I'm back to beyond what, what I paid for everything. I ended up keeping Spyro for myself. And Beyond the Wave Birds, I think that's the only thing I'm gonna keep for myself. Um, I've talked before about taking one of my doubles and selling it. So I just listed Animal Crossing's Player's Choice. It's not complete, but it has all the manuals the only thing it's missing is the memory card. So I put that up. I'm gonna see sort of what I can get out of that. I put it up for $55, because I think it'll sell pretty quick. Um, so I'm gonna take that $55 or whatever I end up getting, because I think I put lowest price I'll take is 50. I'm gonna take that 50 and move on and start doing my own sales from that and seeing what I can and can't buy and sort of move up my own game collection just from that $50. Now, what I have left beyond those games is two wave birds and I'm gonna end up keeping two wave birds for myself. Three of them were in absolutely great shape. Two of them felt like they had brand new sticks. That's the ones I'm actually gonna keep for myself. The other two barely had any wear, super clean. The only thing wrong with them is two of the receivers had a little bit of yellowing on the face of them. So other than that, they were awesome. Sort of. 
One of the four I ended up having to take completely apart. When I opened it up, it had one of two batteries stuck in it. And I mean stuck. I mean, it, the battery, I had to pry it out of there. I had to take the controller completely apart. I had to force the board sort of at, out of its place and clean the contacts that attached to the board. And I probably spent 20 minutes trying to get the corrosion off of it. There was a battery that exploded on it and it just did terrible. I finally got it clean. It's all cleaned up, you'd never know. And it works, I tested it, everything works great. So I have two of them up for sale. Facebook Marketplace only at the moment. I might wait and either put them up on eBay, might see if they sell sort of where they're at. I have them up for 80 bucks a piece, um, just because they, they were super clean. The sticks aren't yellow, they weren't tore up. The guy barely used them, he said. Uh, I, just, I, I think they're pretty nice for, for what they are. Checking some of the other prices, I mean, some people want 50 bucks for just a controller, some people want 50 bucks just for a receiver. Sort of right there in the middle with about 80 bucks. Um, we'll sort of see what happens. I like selling my stuff pretty quick, so I might end up dropping the price a little bit just so I can get some money back. Um, but I ended up being way over sort of what I needed to be uh, to make sure I got paid real well. And, uh, and by that I mean more than what I paid for everything. I'm not in this to try and make a bunch of money. I'm in this more, more to just have something to do and to collect a few pieces for myself. Like I've said before, I'm not a huge video game person just in general. I like playing some games here and there. There's a certain few things that I like to keep for myself for nostalgic reasons, like wave birds. I never had a wave bird. I always thought they were cool, just sort of want one. Uh, so I figured this was the best way for me to sort of get a couple was to try and bundle, get a bundle of everything and turn around and sell the bits and pieces. Um, so that's sort of where I'm at for everything on the New Mexico trip. Um, I'll keep you guys updated if I end up selling the next couple games and especially the Animal Crossings games. Um, tomorrow, I'm actually gonna go pick up another GameCube, a Platinum. Uh, I don't believe there was a controller with it, but it does have the cords and it has three games. Um, Spider-Man 2, I believe it was Super Monkey Ball and Metroid. So I might end up keeping Metroid for myself. Um, another game, just I never ended up playing, so I might keep it for myself and uh, sell Spider-Man and the other game. Not gonna get much out of it, but I'm in contact with another person that has an N64 and quite a few games with it. I believe it was like 10 games altogether. Nothing real special, but what they had was Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap was coming out again for the Nintendo Switch in April. I have it pre-ordered. I don't know why I really pre-ordered it, but I have this nostalgic thing for when I played all this long time ago. So I just really wanted to have it. And so I'd really like to have an N64 Pokemon Snap and the player. So I might trade the GameCube for that and sort of see where I'm at and take everything that I don't need and take it to my buddy that's at the uh, flea market and trade him and see, to, see sort of what I can get for cash. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching if you stayed this long. Um, check out my next video because it's gonna end up being everything over here that I picked up in March, or at least most of it, and some things in February. Uh, March ain't over yet, and I don't plan on stopping getting some stuff. So keep watching, keep checking everything out. Uh, yeah, thank you.